What's up, y'all? CKID D here, man. Back with another video for y'all. And real quick, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to transfer your data over from your iOS device into your brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus device. Now, what's gonna come in the box here is you're gonna get this little adapter here. Now, this is gonna be the adapter that you guys are gonna be able to use uh, to be able to plug in your lightning cable into your uh, Galaxy device and connect the two. Now you just plug one in into your brand new Note 10 device, and then you're gonna plug your lightning cable into your iPhone device or your iOS device or tablet, whichever one you're using. But for today's video, I'm not gonna be actually using that. I'm actually gonna be using the cable that my friends over at Nomad was cool enough to hook me up with. Now this is a lightning to USB-C. Now this is actually the same cable that's required for fast charging uh, for the iOS device. Now, all I have to do is just using their cable, is just plug this in to the iPhone and then plug the other end into my Galaxy device. Now, what's gonna pop up here on the screen is, it's just gonna show you what do you wanna do when you have this plugged in. We're gonna select Smart Switch and we're just gonna do just once. Now basically what it's doing right now, it's actually searching on my phone for all of the data that it can transfer over. So we're gonna go ahead and sit and let it do its thing. And I will tell you that this process is gonna take a bit of time, so definitely be patient during this process. But once it's done, we'll come back and check with it later. All right, so now that we've gotten to this stage here, now you actually have the option to be able to choose exactly what kind of data that you actually want brought over from your iPhone device or your iOS device onto your brand new Galaxy Note 10. Now, up here is gonna tell you about the amount of space that it is going to be pulling over. So in my case, I have over 18 gigs of uh, data that it's that I can bring over, uh, which will actually take about 24 minutes that is telling me here. But in my case, I when I'm setting up a brand new phone, I don't actually like bringing over everything. So by default, it has everything selected. Now I know in my S10 video that I did of this, one of the number one questions that you guys were asking is what is all the data that you guys can bring over? So to walk through that, you can bring over your calls and contacts, you can bring over your messages, all of your application or some of the applications that uh, are also on iOS as well as Android because again not all apps uh, that I have on my phone are actually on um, on the Android market so the other thing is you can bring over your Wi-Fi settings your home screen you can bring over your images video audio recordings as well as uh, documents that you might have saved so basically what I'm gonna actually transfer that I want only thing that I want to actually bring over is calls uh, contacts uh, I don't want to bring over my apps. I do want to bring over my Wi-Fi, not my home screen, uh, none of my images, because when I'm setting up a brand new phone, I don't like bringing over my images just because I like everything to be fresh. I don't want my documents, any audio recordings or any of my videos. So basically for what I'm bringing over, it's only going to take about 17 minutes, which is uh, almost two gigs worth. So I'm just going to go ahead and press transfer. And now here is going to tell me I can select the messages that I like to transfer so I can transfer all of my messages or I can transfer just the messages within the last two years, 12 months, six months, three months or the last 30 days. Now, for me, I'm going to personally just transfer the messages that have came over within the last 30 days. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and press transfer. And then just like that, we sit and wait and it's going to go ahead and copy over all of the information from my iPhone and bring it over to my brand new Galaxy Note 10 Plus device. So the other thing I wanna bring up here is you do wanna make sure you're keeping the phone on. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep screen on and just go ahead and press that. So that way I can make sure that this phone here will not go to sleep while it's doing the transfer because you wanna make sure you keep this phone um, up and running during this transfer. So we're gonna go ahead and let that do its thing and uh, we're gonna check back in a little later. All right, so now that we've gotten everything that we want to copy over, it's just going to say get the most out of your new Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, it's telling me here that I've copied over 144 contacts, uh, 2,046 messages, my Wi-Fi, pretty much everything that it copied over. Um, you can also bring in stuff from your iCloud, which I don't want to do. And then I can also, it's also telling me turn off iMessage on my iPhone and start receiving text messages on this phone. So basically what I'm going to do is just go ahead and press done. And then just like that, I have all of my stuff brought over. So I can go ahead into my contacts and I can see that my contacts have all been brought over. Um, if I go into my messages, I can see that I have messages and stuff that is also brought over. So, so that's pretty much how you guys are gonna be able to transfer all of your information 
from your old device and bring it over to your brand new Galaxy Note 10 device. Now, if you guys found this video helpful, you guys wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and click on that thumbs up button as well as go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you guys are stuck on, let me know down in the comment section below and uh, I'll try my best to respond back to those. So thanks again for watching guys and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.